What's up, Future Fighters? Zach Zach here. We got a box opening for you guys. This box opening is for Unleash Impact Dragons. This is the first set in the new DDD sets where I guess they're having a lot of dragon support. And I'm going to open two boxes for you guys. The first one's going to be my traditional slow one. And if you guys want to look at my faster video, you can go to the other video that I'll have up shortly after this. So let's start. So this is a big booster, so there's three packs, which is nice. And I guess we have the promos, and I'm glad we already see one promo that I wanted to get. Which was the new Yami Ghetto. So there's only one promo per pack. It is... Ruler of 100 Demons, O oh, Yami Ghetto. So he's a 735 size 3 with Penetrate and Soul Guard. Call cost the same as every yami, other Yami Ghetto. And Thunder Mine, when a monster on your opponent's field attacks, deal 1 damage to your opponent once per turn. Um, I think this is a pretty good Thunder Mine. Oh, the stats are kind of mad to me. I mean, the three crit penetrate, you know, that's cool. But I don't know. I like double attack. I value double attack very highly. Um, interesting notes for people that uh, in this set, I believe that there's one buddy rare or SP per box. So I hope we can hopefully we can pull one of those. Why should we open this funny one? Why do I always open this hard way on camera? Sunfist attribute weapon, four with two crit, one engage. If you have two or more sun dragons on your field, this card gives a plus a crit. That's nice. Magic glue. That's not, that's not bad. Very weird looking. Star Dragon World, generic. I don't know why they keep putting generic cards. Soul Armor Dragon, if your opponent does not have a monster in the center, this card gets plus three. There it is. Oh, yeah, it's a Sun Dragon. So it has move. That's actually kind of cool. So key defense in the center. And Jack Arms, J Thruster. This card is in the soul of a jackknife. Uh, you may discard a card from here. If you do, put up to one from your thruster in the soul. From your deck into the soul of that card. Wait. When this card is put into the soul of a card with Jack in its name, you may discard a card from your hand. If you do, choose up to one J Thruster from your deck and put it into the soul of that card. Shuffle your deck. What's per turn? Eh, that's actually kind of cool. It kind of turns any of the cards that may be dead in your hand into additional soul guard for your cross knife monsters. There's also a Dragon Arm, so it might be very nice with Aster, making sure that you have enough Dragon Arms into his soul to prevent his uh, being able to be destroyed effect. And just, you know, getting Soul Guard is nice. Oh, looks like we got some of the Shade support. Shadow Shade. Call cost, one gauge, choose and use one of the following two. Then put this card into the soul of Shadow Shade on your field. Destroy size one or less monster on your opponent's field. Choose a Shadow Shade in battle and for this turn give it Drago Energy. And put it in the soul afterwards. It's kind of cool. Ooh, the reprint for Midnight Shadow. My friend's definitely gonna like this. I'll have to put that to the side for him. I have to get a bunch of those. Those with foil, probably gonna be ridiculous. Dragonite Kagekatsu. When a Dragonite on your field rests by an effect, for this turn, this card gets plus two and penetrate. This ability only activates once per turn. Size two. Eh. Reading that, hoping it's a size one to be busted, but you know, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, isn't it? It's not even Shinsengumi or nothing. Uh, escape. Generic spell, one gauge, set, act during an attack on a size 2 or less monster on your field, pay a gauge if you do, return that monster being attacked to your hand. You only use this once per turn. Wow, I actually, this, I actually like this set spell a lot. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Oh, is this, what is this? This is a triple R, believe it or not, even though it looks so pretty. Uh, jackknife. This is so hard to read. Jackknife, full liberate cannon, so I guess maybe some weird. Right, um, impact monster, size 2, 626, six, call cost. Pay 3 gauge and put this on top of a Neo Dragon monster on your field and put a card from your drop zone into this card's soul. At the end of the battle that this card attacked, you may put up to 3 dry arms from this card's soul into the drop. If you do, deal damage to your opponent equal to the number put into the drop zone. I... That's pretty good, actually. I, I like this a lot. Yeah, I like that a lot, especially with that card that, that single rare we just read off, saying that you can put more Dragon Arms in the soul by discarding cards. 
Okay, I'm fine. Did they remove this? Am I paranoid now? Yeah, I think they removed it. Oh, the preparations are just odd on this one. It's third pack. Magic power recovery counter. Return a size one or less monster on the field to its owner's hand and you gain a life. Oddly specific. For a soul from a draw on your field, pay two gauge, nullify the attack, and you gain one life. This card cannot be nullified. So, you know, kind of prevent those penetrate plays. A very pretty foil. Huh? I like this flying. Ball Dragon All Out Ball Aura. 635 Impact Monster Size. 2 call cost, 2 gauge. Put a Sun Dragon Monster from your field into the drop. When this card enters the field, either destroy a monster in your opponent's center, or your, your opponent does not have a monster in the center, put a card from your opponent's gauge into the drop zone and deal one to your opponent. He's got 3 crit. That's not, not terrible. The 2 gauge, you don't get to put the card to your. What do you call it? Uh, into your, your gauge, like the other one, I believe. Star Launcher Soul Cannon 5-2 item Star Dragon World. When this card attacks me, put a card from put a soul from a Neo Dragon on your field into the drop. If you do this turn, this card gets plus two attack power and penetrates. One gauge. Ooh, and the magical goodbye reprint. These are some pretty huge reprints. Mercenaries, you might cast this card during attack on your opponent's turn. Counter, if it is not a link attack, nullify the attack. So they got their generic card, but they can actually use shields in the center. Hunter of the Magical Force. This card looks familiar. I think the last one was another Hunter, and it just, I think it was a size 2 weird stats. Cannot be called to the center. 5-2-2. Two, two. I don't know if they had to do that to balance out the Magic World stat balances. Black Bargain. Spell. You may only cast this card when your opponent's monsters are destroyed by the effect of your card. Put the top card of your deck in your gauge and draw a card. That's kind of interesting. Black Scar Stigmata. Uh, 722. Call cost 1 gauge. When this card enters the field, if your opponent has 7 or more cards in their drop, destroy a card on his or her field. Size 2 for this. That's pretty good. Double rare, flared fang dragon. Let me make sure I keep all my good shit separate. Um, yeah, three one one size one sun dragon. When this card enters the field, if you have another sun dragon in your field, put the top card of your deck in your gauge and draw a card. Flare gift activates once per turn. It's like the quantum ruler clone. Weaker stats, but I mean, you get a gauge and draw a card. That, that's pretty good. Blue Sky Knight's Boomerang Dragon, 3-1-1, size 0. I feel sorry for what happened to him. Call cost 1 gauge at the end of the battle. This card return this card to your hand, and you gain a life. That's kind of interesting. Sorcery Book Thurgy. You may rest this card if you do. For this turn, a card on your opponent's field gets minus 2,000 defense. Maybe? I don't, I don't know what the... I think I'd rather play Gunrod still. Star Dragoner, uh, Vanilla, I still don't want to keep burning, burning Vanilla cards. Blue Sky Knight, Systemic Dragon, uh, dra Dagger Dragon. Size 1, 2-2-1, two, two, one. when another monster with Systemic or Blue Sky Knights in his name enters the field, you gain a life and draw a card once per turn. That, that, that's nice. Blue Dragon Shield reprint, hooray! It's good for people trying to get into the game. I definitely would recommend this set for anyone trying to get into the game because these three worlds I think are probably going to be pretty pretty supported in this new season. And uh, they didn't reprint like uh, cards like Death Grip, but Abigail has a new Death Grip that's pretty good. Solomon Shield reprint, Sunfist, Glue, Heat Dragon Jr. It is a size 0, 2, 1, 1. If your opponent does not have a monster in the center, this card gets plus 1 critical for size 0. And we got the Buddy Rare Abigail. This is actually this card looks fantastic, actually. Black Death Dragon Abigail. Uh, Buddy Rare. Or is it? Yeah. Yeah, Buddy Rare. 6, 2, 1, size 1. Call cost 1 gauge. Discard a card from your hand. If you do, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. If you destroyed a monster, put cards from the top of your opponent's deck into his or her drop zone equal to that size. 
So good. Man, this is a very pretty card too. So many packs in these ones. I wasn't counting. I still think there were five cards per pack though. Yeah. Sun Dragon. Three crit. One one. Great spell, Sacred Bless. Pay four gauge set. At the beginning of your main phase, you may gain one life. If you do, draw a card. Oh, you may pay one life. I'm like, gain a life, draw a card. Why would you not choose to do that? But you pay a life to draw a card. You can activate this once per turn. Hmm. Born, Bow Dragon. Size 0, 4, 1, 1. Armor Knight Evil. The Shade. You may, you may put... Only cast this card if you have a Shadow Shade on your field. Put the top card of your deck in your gauge and draw a card. Put this card into the soul. If a Shadow Shade on your field, you may only use this once per turn. And the Mary Sue Eternal I Ideal Impact Monster. 423, call cost to gauge. When this card enters the field, put up the one Magic World spell from your drop zone into your hand. Then it, if you have four more different wizards in your drop zone, draw a card. I like this. It's nice. Very good. It's also obviously a wizard attribute, so it's very good for the deck. More black dragons. So these are Black Sleepless City Dim Borgil. Uh, three, two, three, size two. If there are three or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, this card gets plus three attack and plus three defense. So that makes his really bad stats a little bit better. And he's got move and he's free. He's probably not super terrible. At least Abigail's a size one. 72 pillar demon realm prosecu uh, prosecutor Nebrios. Uh, five, two, two, size two. Judgment of the Prosecutor. When another card returns to the hand from the field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge once per turn. Uh, I don't know. Generic Kitty. Battle Robo Deity Robo Cut Cat. 3 1 2, size 1. When this card is this card from your hand, you may pay a life. If you do, call it from the drop zone. I think that works very nice with the Battle Deity Robo support. Black Dragon Epicenter Deadlock. He's a 5-2-2, two, two, or I'm sorry, 5-1-2. Two. Size 1. When an attack by this card destroys an opponent's monster, put the top three cards of your opponent of each player's deck into the drop zone. Hmm. Oh, and then we have Abigail, the single R version. So for those people who are trying to build budget versions with Abigail, Abigail is a single R in the set. Uh, 61, we just read the stats for comparison. These are the way these cards look. I, I do love the way this card looks, though. Pretty cool, though. Uh, break time. Count two gauge, destroy a monster in your opponent's center. If you destroy it, you gain life equal to the size of that monster. It's kind of expensive for, for Dragon World. Um, act. Put a soul from this card into your drop. If you do, deal one damage to your opponent once per turn. Uh, death Deep. 3-2-3, three, three, size 1. I want your light. It's kind of weird that they have that weird translation there. Um, Magella Cl Magella Clouds? Mag... Oh my god. <laughs> Major, I can't say this, Matt. Magalanic Stream. Magalanic Magala, Magala Clouds, Magalanic Stream. 736, size 3 impact monster. Neo Dragon, call cost 3 gauge, put this card on top of a monster. He has move and soul guard. Um, he doesn't have jackknife, so I don't know how much play he'll get in Star Dragon World decks. And then we have a, looks like a double R. Star Jack Repair. You may only cast this card if you have a card with Jackknife and its card name on your field. Put the top card of your deck in your gauge and put a card from your drop zone into the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field. You may only cast Star Jack Repair once What's per that? turn. <laughs> Shine Storm. That's the game life one. Battle Deity Ro Robo Dash Ogre. 
415 size 2 counteract. You may discard a generic card from your hand if you do destroy a monster on your opponent's field with critical less than the card equal to this card. So it's one crit. Uh, cover fire of solar cannon. Set spell. This card remains on the field when an attack by a sun dragon on your monster on your field destroys your opponent's monster. Deal one damage to your opponent. So every time they destroy monsters, they destroy... Wow. Oh, nice. And we got a reprint for Solomon's Great Barrier. Gunrod, Bosun, Dofer. Uh, pay one gauge to equip it. Uh, you may rest this card if you do deal one damage to your opponent. If, you bo if both you and your opponent have one monster each on the field, deal an additional one damage to your opponent. That's kind of nice. I was looking for looking at something else. Yeah, pretty good. <clears throat> looks like a Shadow Shade. If you have another Shadow Shade, this card gets plus 3,000 power. This would be oh, 8,000 power for a size 1 for a magical creature. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's not even a buddy race, it's just a triple ray. You only cast this card during an attack on your opponent's turn. If you don't have a monster in the center, nullify the attack. Sonic move. Is that a reprint already of something they have? Uh, sun boost dragon move. This is, this is just like a, a dragon different. shield without, right? You only cast this card during Oh, yeah, it's just dragon yeah, shield. Dragon shield. They don't have that. Black wolf. They need that. Uh, homing instinct. When your opponent's monsters are destroyed by the effect of your card, this card, if this card is in your drop zone, you may call this card from your drop. It activates once per turn. That's and it's a size zero that can come from the drop if you destroy a point. monster in your opponent's field. All right, triple rare battle dragon ball burst smasher. Eleven thousand, four critical, six thousand defense. Call cost three gauge. Put this on top of a sun dragon. This card's attack cannot be nullified if it is attacking alone. Soul Guard. Crazy. Good. Very pretty. Very pretty. Sun Dragon's gonna be pretty, pretty nasty from the get go, I think. If you can't beat him, do it. Right, Dragon Lost. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that, that's why I pulled out to the side. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Dragon, Dragon Roll? Dragon it? <laughs> That's my. Uh -huh. You see me? I see you. <laughs> That'd be crazy in Dragonite. Just because move, get a gauge, bounce it. <laughs> Systemic. Jackknife Astro Gardener. Pay two gauge for this card on top of a Neo Dragon. When this card enters the field, look at the five cards from the top of your deck and put a card from among them into this card's soul and put the rest into your drop. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm only I'm not even halfway through the pack. I'm not like saying all these cards on the right. Yeah, right. I got the buddy rare too. Look at this buddy rare. It's so beautiful. Yeah, we saw it. It's so much different from the single R version. We're getting through cards I've already seen before, so I mean I got the Bow Dragon, the Dragon of the Sun, Ball Dragon. Call cost one gauge. When this card attacks for this turn, this card gets plus 5,000 power. He has penetrate. One gauge. No soul guard. Very snackable. It's a size one? Yes, it's a size <laughs> one for all of that. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it, like, it's so good. Two crit, 6k size one. It only costs one gauge. What does this do? Size zero three one one. Destroy this card and pay you, and pay one gauge if you destroy size zero less monster on your opponent's field for a size zero. It's not counter though. That'd be crazy. It's darkness. Yeah. It worked with that void lord thing. This, that, and the void lord. Just burn, burn, burn. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good. Good thing about two of the decks, huh? Yeah. You know, I might not end up using any cards from them. Oh, there's a cool cross knives that came in this too, where it goes in the soul. Of cross eyes, you can discard a card from your hand and put another copy of it in the soul. Oh yeah, I saw that. Something jackknife, something. Yeah, jack arm thruster or something. Yeah. I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. 
your opponent doesn't have a monster in the center, gets plus a critical, so it's a four crit for free, size two Dragon World card. For ball? It's a Sun Dragon support. Yeah. It's not ball, though. Yeah. Uh, 72 pillar, Deceiving Shacks. 4 one, one, size one. Truth that comes from lies. When this card enters the field, if there are two or more 72 pillars on your field, draw a card. When this card enters the field, if there are two or more 72 more other 72 pillar on your field, draw a card. So you don't have to have two monsters, you can have the set spells or something. You get to draw a card. Too bad you don't get to gauge. You know, Magic World doesn't get that, but Dragon World now has a card that gets you a gauge and draws you a card if you have a Sun Dragon on the field. Hmm. Magic World don't get that though. They don't get a creature that does that. Dragonite the Shaft. Oh, you see this card too. Silhouette Sinbar. 5-3-3, uh, three, three, size 2. Rebellion of Shadow Lion. You may discard this card from your hand. If you do, put a Shadow Shade monster from your drop into your hand. You only activate this once per turn. That's, that's also very nice. And this is the Omni Lord Impact Unparalleled Arts Omni Lord Infinity Burst. Omni Lord Impact. You might cast this card if you have a card with Omni Lord on your field. Destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Then you may put a card with Omni Lord from your drop zone into the bottom of your deck. If you do, return this card to your hand. It's kind of nice. Kind of super nice. It's free. It's free to play. <laughs> you just have to have an Omni Lord. Which is. It's just a rare. Yeah, you go. The card that, that saved it, the world. And all dimensions and stuff, rare. <laughs> all instances of all universes, of all worlds. Right. There's a rare. There are two more cards in this card. Solus gets plus one critical. I don't know why. It's in size zero. Uh, pay one life, put two... What is this card called? Barely attack. It's like a shadow. All their spells put... Yeah, but, but he doesn't have soul guard himself. Pay one life and put two souls from a Neo Dragon on your field into the drop counter. Destroy a monster on your opponent's field. That's good. What is this? This is a common foil. Foiling makes it look pretty. If you have another Shadow Shade, it's plus three power. Mm -hmm. That's a great spell for you here, Sean. Great spell, sp special, elegant, amazing wall. You only cast this here. Six or more wizards in your drop zone. Cast cost pay three gauge for this turn. All cards in your field cannot be destroyed and you cannot be dealt damage. Oh, hello. <laughs> and a rare that looks pretty too. Dragon Arms, one Barret. Two, one, one, size zero. At the end of the battle of this card, you may put this card into the soul of a Neo Dragon on your field. Cross Knight. I like that too. At the end of the turn. End of the battle? Does it say battle? Yeah, it's a battle. It's nice. It's real nice. Move, size 2. Gate Guiders. Uh, what is he? It says 7 on it. Or Sete? Siete? No. I like how they all have numbers on their sites. Size 1 move for death. Uh, 9,000 attack power, 0 critical item, Sun Dragon weapon for free. Uh, Magical Knights of Bonds, Dunkle Height and Light. 727 seven, size 2. You might call this card if you have two or more wizards in your drop. Pay 2 gauge, act. You may discard a wizard from your hand. If you do for this turn, this card gets plus 3,000 power. And the next time it would be destroyed, it remains on the field. You only activate this once per turn. Double attack for 2 gauge. Size 2. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's often nice. Mm -hmm. Often nice. My wizards. Magic world, I guess. I was thinking about that, I was like, man, maybe I just jump ship, try to play something else. <laughs> Mix it up, man, get some wizard burn in there. Only some people will be ready for it. Like, the matchup that I hate the most? They're not actually ready for it. What if they play that stupid fist? Correct, then they are ready. <laughs> They're super ready for it. Fish flavored elixir. When another card returns to the hand from the field, you gain a life. Once per turn. Then they just bounce their weapon. <laughs> right. And then they play it again. <laughs> right, but, but you probably did everything by the time they played. Yeah, I did everything. What? You did all your effects. So I, I like the again. foils in this set a lot more. Ooh, a reprint for Black Revenger. That's cool. That was the trial deck specific card. 
Sunfizz Battle Knuckle. Equip cost one gauge. When a monster with bowed in its card name on your field attacks for this battle, that monster gets plus one critical. This ability activates during the attack phase and <coughs> during your final phase. That's how Gao is the Gibbs with his impact during the first episode. Or I guess his impact monster. Yeah, that, the right side of that box, man. The right side. <laughs> A reprint for death damage. Star Dragonor Meteor Meteoroid. 5, 2, 3, size 2. Call cost 1 gauge. When this card enters the field, you may equip an item from your drop zone by paying its equip cost. There's a reprint. Yep. Uh, size 3 impact monster 727. 2 gauge. Destroy a black dragon on your field. When this card enters the field, destroy all size 1 or less monsters and items on your opponent's field. Why would you have that? Mm, cyborg. It's so good. Like it's a solid cyborg. It's got good stats. If it F's your opponent's field. Yeah. Dragonite can gets can suju. Four one three size one. Act. You may rest a Dragonite monster on your field. If you do for this turn, an opponent's card on their field gets minus three thousand defense. What am I gonna attack it with? I don't know, you're gonna do some crazy shit. <laughs> so I risk guys, weaken his defense, pass him. <laughs> Thanks, Bushi. Thanks for understanding. Trick or trick. Choose and use one of the following two. Put a spell from your drop zone into the soul of a shadow shade, then put this card into the shadow shade. Put two souls from a card in your field under the drop. If you do, destroy a card on the field. And put this card into the soul of a shadow shade. This was a Shinsen Gumi. I didn't understand. That was it. the other card I put in this pile. I was like, hey, if this was a Shinsen Gumi. Oh, the Penetrate. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, if you were a Shinsen Gumi, oh my god. Right. Maybe they just need to give you like the Shinsen Gumi weapon, that fork thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there would be a Shinsen Gumi like attribute weapon. That'd be nice. I'd give it extra crits. That'd be too nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take foils of those. Okay, okay. It's probably going to be ridiculous. Jackknife. Star Dragoner, 535, call cost one gauge. When this card enters the field, look at the top three cards of your deck. Put a card from among them into this card's soul, put the rest in the drop. Maybe? He's okay. Having the 5k defense as opposed to 6 is kind of mad to me. Right, good. Yeah, right. Maybe if you made that part of his call cost instead, that'd be worth it. Yeah. Uh, Emergency Ward, Neverland, set. When a card. Returns to the hand from the field, you gain a life once per turn. I like this card is for uh, Iams Jackknife. Pay two gauge, discard a card from your hand, destroy all spells on the field. Pay two gauge and discard a card, destroy all spells. Eh. Foil, Star Dragon World. Dragon or dude. I'm not even going to play that. What's up? Are these how they do parallels now? Yeah, that's kind of weird. I thought I noticed that a while ago. But Pay 2 gauge, call up to 3 size 2 or less 72 pillars from your drop zone on separate areas by paying their call costs. For this turn, you cannot call monsters other than impact monsters. And you only cast was up once per turn. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how it's spelled? <laughs> <laughs> Proto Barrier Reprint. I was done with this box. Let me like, destroy the other one. Uh, scapegoat, cast cost, destroy a monster on your field. The next time damage will be dealt to you this turn, reduce it to zero, and you gain one life. Great spell, elegant wall. And this card feels right. It feels like it. Oh, okay. So they did. That's what. They made all triple R's SP print. Mm. I was like, yeah, that's, that's texture. Uh, black guy, demonic dragon, blags a blah. <laughs> Size 3, 818. Call cost 2 gauge. When this card deals damage to your opponent, put the top 2 cards of your opponent's deck into his or her drop zone. If there are 10 or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, this card gets plus 2 critical and penetrate, and he has double attack normally. That's nice. Yeah. That's real nice. Is this the same set with that Impact Demios? Mm, I think the Impact Demios is the next set. The extra booster that has iron support. Mm. And they showed what some of the iron support looks like, where it's like if your flag is Darkness Dragon World versus if your flag is not Darkness Dragon World. Mm. Another scapegoat, that's good. It's weird shade. 
Trey Moss on your opponent's field if you have six away slots. And a reprint, Devil Fever. Yeah, there you go. That's good. This is definitely a good set for people trying to get back or start this game. Double rares look like the parallel. Oh, look at this parallel foil. <clears throat> Chick, Messenger of Moonlight Luna. Counter, act if you have a Messenger of Sunlight Soul on your field. You may discard a wizard from your hand. If you do, return a monster on the field to its owner's hand once per turn. Nice. That that new Dunkle Height thing, I think definitely gonna see some play. Light and Dunkle Height. Mm -hmm. He just effing this person up. Holy crap! The Super is just savage. You mean this one? Yeah. Shooting him in the face. <laughs> he's, not, he's not shooting him in the face. He's shooting him through the face. Right. <laughs> There's somebody behind him that he's trying to get. At. <laughs> Picking out parts of his body is possibly can't even tell chance this. of victory. This looks nice. Oh, which of variants? Alice the Adjuster. Uh, 2 1 2, size 3. Pay one life if you do. Until this card leaves the field, change the size of this card to the size of your your choice between 0 and 3. This card activates once per turn. This card gets plus 1 defense, plus 1 power, and critical multiplied by this card's size. Hmm. You separate all the triples and doubles for me? Alright, cool. You only have two foils. There's some in here. They've been bad. They're real bad. <laughs> Alright, so we got three packs left. Did you just skip over this? Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> How did I skip over this? <laughs> Fifth Omni Cavalry Arts, Cavalry Dragon Arts, Seven Divine Execute. It's probably Dragon World, so it was invisible to <laughs> me. <laughs> Size 2 Impact Monster, 826, Call Cost, 2 Gauge, put up to 2 Armor Dragon Monsters. From your field into this card's soul, when you are dealt damage, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and gain a life and draw a card. What's per turn? As if Fifth Dominies weren't already annoying enough. Ugh, that card makes me sad. <laughs> Cat. Oh, this guy's a new one. Fifth Omni Super Cavalry Dragon. Fifth Omni. Hellfire Sword Doble. 825 size 3. This card cannot be called to the center. Call cost 2 gauge. Put this on top of. Put the top card of your deck into the soul. When you are dealt damage, put a card from your opponent's gauge into his or her drop zone. When you are dealt damage, put a card from your opponent. And put the top card of your deck into this gauge once per turn. Double attack soul guard. Okay. Probably annoying that it can't be called to the center. <laughs> a wizard. If you have two or more wizards on your field, you may discard this card from your hand. If you do, put the top two cards of your deck into the gauge. Hello. A Jack Arms J Igniter. 3 2 2, size 1. Put this card into the soul of a card. Uh, if this card is in the soul of a card with Jackknife, it gets plus 1 critical. Size one. Double R Black Diadem uh, Zacra. Zacrown. Three one two size one. When this card enters the field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. And if there are six more cards in your opponent's drop zone, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. Holy oh, shit! I feel like I definitely didn't get enough boxes to this set if I want to get all these cards. Three triples. A buddy rare. Yeah. And the last card is the scythe. I think the main character for Darkness Dragon World uses six with two critical item. Death Dragon Sickle Gale Scythe. Equip cost one gauge, one life. If there are three or more cards in your opponent's drop zone, this card gets plus one critical. So that is all the cards from the first box. Um, the recap of pulls, just real quick, is a, looks like foil. We yeah, have foils. This, this could be like just a single R print to me. I don't know that I like this foil pattern anymore. So this just like the double R pattern? Looks like single R to me. This is a double yeah, okay. Yeah, it does look exactly like a double. <laughs> this card is The Mary Sue looks just, just like this, it. This card is upsetting. Yeah. 
Yeah. We feel a bit different. Player fling. Triple rares. This dude. And the buddy rare help me go. So that's the first box opening for the new Triple D set to unleash Impact Dragons. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Facebook if you guys want to find updates. This is Sean right here. Probably on the hunt for some of the Star Dragon World, but mostly Dragonites. Hoping that they get better. I'm on the hunt for this. On foil. the hunt. Foil hunt. <laughs> foil that. Let, let, let us know if you got any foils you're getting rid of. All right. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.